June 18th, 2018, President Donald Trump stuns the world with a momentous announcement. I'm hereby directing the Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the process necessary to establish a space force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. This is intended to be a new branch of the military with an extraterrestrial component. The question is, who is he expecting to be the enemy? What kind of battle are we preparing for? President Trump did name the enemies against which Space Force was set up to defend. Certainly, there is no shortage of potential future aggressors on Earth. In 2007, China launched a missile at one of their own defunct satellites, destroying it at over 500 miles up, demonstrating a tremendous show of strength. The purpose was a military purpose. It was that we're going to see if we can knock this satellite out of the sky, and then we know we can do the same thing to an American satellite. The new U.S. Space Force is a significant addition to America's current space war capabilities. An entity has existed for quite a long time that has had, in a sense, domain over issues related to space outside of NASA's activity, the Air Force Space Command. Air Force Space Command has 30,000 personnel worldwide and control over satellites, aircraft, radar, anti-missile systems, and orbital launchers. But the new Space Force will be much more. New kinds of vehicles, new kinds of weapons, for a new kind of war, and possibly a new kind of enemy. The Space Force is coming, and it's most likely to protect us from threats from Earth with the weapons pointed backwards at Earth. But is it possible that they might need to be pointing outwards as well? Could the president have some kind of information that's driving the urgency to launch our defenses before it's too late? Space Force. Analysts want to know why the U.S. president launches a new space branch of the military. Some point to a dire warning given by genius astrophysicist Stephen Hawking to the governments of the world just two years before Space Force was formally announced. He was concerned that any spacefaring aliens might be predatory nomads or bent on conquering worlds for resources. He cautioned that the messages and signals we have sent out into the cosmos over the last 50 years as we searched for alien life could invite a lethal response. Stephen Hawking was actually very worried about this. He felt like we shouldn't be casting signals out into the darkness because there may be other species out there who will see our beacon and wipe us out in one way or another. If President Trump is concerned about a threat from beyond the planet, he wouldn't be the first to consider the risk. While Ronald Reagan was flying an airplane one time, he believed that he saw uh, some kind of spacecraft. Jimmy Carter was probably the most outspoken about it. He wanted to go to Area 51 and see what was there. He believed he saw a UFO. It's even said that in 1974, then head of the CIA, George H.W. Bush, informed President Jerry Ford that the existence of extraterrestrials was on a need-to-know basis. And that's the scary part about it. George Bush didn't deny that there were UFOs. He simply said, I'm not going to tell you because you don't need to know. It's beyond your top secret clearance. So what about President Trump? On July 20th, 1952, Air Force radar picks up a series of unidentified lights in the sky. Terrified witnesses describe strange craft flying over the Capitol in what becomes known as the invasion of Washington. Jets scramble to intercept the mysterious vessels, but they're easily outrun. Meanwhile, in New York City, just one mile from the Trump family home, bright and menacing circular lights are seen hovering over the streets. 
there were UFOs over Donald Trump's own neighborhood. Might that be the stimulus for President Trump's wanting a space force? Space Force could be the first line of defense in the event of an attack from space. What if we were being invaded from another star system? Well, we would at least have a foothold now in space. We could fight them in space and not on our planet. America is well placed to build Space Force an awesome arsenal. Laser-armed satellites could provide defense, while the orbit-capable X-37B could evolve into a deadly combat space fighter. But there is no guarantee an extraterrestrial attack would follow any rules of conventional war. There are all sorts of ways to invade a planet. You could send superbugs on micrometeorites into the atmosphere. You could just send giant asteroids at the planet. But if you wanted the planet for a reason, then you just wanted to exterminate the people there then you would have to show up with a ground force to hold the territory. If Trump's space force fails to safeguard the planet and aliens land, is there a backup plan in place to fight them on our own turf? If the Pentagon has plans for such a scenario, they remain classified. Well, let's assume it's some big mothership shows up and there's an all-out attack on the planet. Any a civilization that's able to cross light years of space is going to be so far ahead of us that it would be ludicrous to think uh, that we could defend against it. You know, it. It would be like a Stone Age tribe going against an F-35. If the arsenal fails to repel the aliens and they make it to Earth, Experts warn that humanity would have little chance in a conventional battle against a technologically advanced aggressor from another world. If we were invaded by any aliens who had enough technology to cross the galaxy with their forces, I would think they could take out Space Force in a minute. They could take out all of the world's industrial military complexes. But all may not be lost. Cutting edge technology does not always guarantee victory, as U.S. forces learned in Vietnam and Soviet forces discovered in Afghanistan. The only way to fight against such high tech would be low tech. Maybe it would turn into a small pockets of humanity having a guerrilla war. The ability of individuals and small groups to survive and fight back could make them the last line of defense against any planetary invasion.